outside today and we had a little bit of a cool down so it wasn't quite as warm as we were but still just stunning outside and winds were much calmer for most of us compared to yesterday. So western side of the state not much of a change. Eastern side a big difference compared to yesterday. Anything from 7 to about 18 degrees cooler than yesterday at this time. So we're sitting at 58 out at the airport right now. 58 in Fort Collins. Upper 50s, low 60s for most of the eastern plains. High country 53 right now in Frisco. 62 in Aspen and 70 in Rifle and Grand Junction. Our weather watcher Mark Manheimer reporting a perfect bluebird day in the high country today in Silverthorne. 60 degrees outside the CBS 4 studios. Earlier today, 59 out at the airport today. Officially 61 degrees downtown. So below our average of 66 tomorrow, we're going to jump right back up to those upper 70s. October temperatures were about halfway through the month and sort of a mixed bag. Last month we had our hottest September on record in Denver. October so far, we've had more below average days than above average days. So cooler today, different than that 75. We do get back to those red squares tomorrow. Satellite radar is very, very quiet. We had a cold front roll through last night, but it didn't bring us any moisture. It only cooled us off. Big moisture, though, still continuing to funnel into parts of Texas all the way into Georgia and Florida. And you'll notice the stream of this is actually coming from the Pacific. It's crossing all that land, and we're seeing all of that rain in these areas. Flooding is a major, major concern. But back to the west, not so much. We are going to be dry again. That cold front worked its way through, and now we just have that cooler air moving in. And we have some changes. Uh, this is all the way over on the other side of the world right now. We're watching this area of low pressure. It is going to cruise on through towards Colorado by this weekend. So again, it has a long ways to go, but it will be our big pattern change later on this weekend. We're going to cool off quite a bit, so could see some mountain snow. And across the front range, maybe some windy weather and maybe a little bit of wet weather as well. Lows for tonight, 37 in Denver, 33 in Fort Collins. Low to mid 30s out in the eastern plains. High country 20s for the most part. Teens, 18 tonight in Craig and 34 over in Grand Junction. Tomorrow we jump back up to these warm temperatures, 79 in Denver, 77 for Greeley. Most of the eastern plains, upper 70s in the southeast, 60s, low 70s in the mountains, and then 70s on the western slope. So tomorrow is really a nice day, even though we're well above average. Looking ahead to Thursday, we are going to see a fire weather watch. This will turn into a red flag warning for most of the state as that system gets a little bit closer to us. Winds are going to start to increase, so fire danger is really, really high. Broncos play, of course, on Thursday night. It's a little windy in some areas, uh, and then we're looking at 71 at kickoff, upper 50s by the end of the fourth quarter. And looking at our five-day forecast, 81 on Thursday. Then we start to cool off a bit. Maybe a little chance for rain on Friday. This weekend, 64 Saturday, then down to the 50s on Sunday. 81 is sure a far cry from where we were a week ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs>